Newborn babies tend to have um, a sleep cycle they'll go through when they're with you. So they might have 20 minutes of deep sleep where they're, you can pose them and move them around, then they'll go to a lighter sleep and then back to a deep sleep. Sometimes they'll be awake, often they want to feed when they're awake. So your shoot's very up and down with them being awake and asleep. Um, but don't shy away from working with an awake baby if they're content. If you can get an eye-open shot of the baby like making contact with the viewer, it's a brilliant shot and it sells really well, especially to parents who love it, because often they've not managed to get a good awake shot. And lots of babies go cross-eyed when they're awake, so they may have lots of cross-eyed shots. So the tip for getting a good shot of a baby when they're awake is let them focus on whatever it is they're looking at. And babies like contrast, so often it'll be something white to black that they'll take their eyes to. And then you move with your camera into their line of sight and grab your shot. And that's how you can get a shot without them being all cross-eyed because they'll latch onto something and their eyes will strengthen until they find it. Um, but having said that, with most babies when they're awake, your average awake newborn will tend to go, oh, I'm awake, let's put my hands in my eyes and in my mouth and pull my ears and kind of get all over the place. So if you want awake shots, I tend to swaddle them or do it when mum or dad are holding them. And then you can get a nice eye contact shot without the arms going crazy everywhere. Um, the reason why newborn photographers though are so keen to get them asleep is when a baby is asleep they are very malleable and you can pose them and mould them into the lovely shapes and patterns that we get and most of those, especially the blanket kind of work, you can't do much with an awake baby on a blanket. You can usually swaddle them and get an open eye look but beyond that they won't stay in a pose if you put them in it usually. Occasionally they'll kind of have a peek at you and go back to sleep again. Um, but prop shots and parent shots are lovely awake as well. So it's another way of bringing your session down, that session time down, is not to worry too much about waiting for them to be in a deep sleep before you start working with them. And if you have a baby that's really struggling to sleep, sometimes working with them awake, with them swaddled and in parent shots first, can actually settle them, relax them, and then they'll go to sleep. So whatever your workflow is, make sure you make it movable if you need to, so you can swing it round depending on your baby's mood.